up, everyone? Uh, we're gonna jump right into it. Um, so today we're discussing 10 creative ways to make your brand stand out online in 2018. So each week we're gonna, or I would say throughout a course of a few months, we're going to stretch out and talk about uh, these 10 ways um, to make your brand uh, stand out online. And uh, for the first episode, episode 13, uh, we're going to discuss blogging. All right, so blogging is so important today. And just some quick stats about blog blogging. 53% of marketers uh, have blogging as their top content marketing priority. So if you're a small business or a business owner in general, and you have a marketing team or marketing consultant or marketing specialist, whatever the case may be, uh, there's a high percentage of them focusing on blogging as a top content marketing strategy. And there's a reason for that. Um, so if you also have a blog, right, 434% um, more pages are indexed within Google search engine um, compared to websites that do not have a blog. And what that means is the more pages you have indexed in Google, uh, the more Google is going to um, crawl around your site and analyze your content to uh, ultimately allow you to get better rankings within their search engines, which in, in result drives more patience for more customers. Um, small businesses that have a blog see 126% more growth than a business without a blog. So uh, ROI and new customers are so important. So blogging should be a part of that uh, marketing strategy. Um, it also uh, develops your business as an industry expert and it creates brand ambassadors for your business. So today I'm going to give out five tips, right? So five tips that really can help you um, create a, a, a blogging content strategy, simple tips that you can follow and utilize um, to make your business stand out among the pack. So tip one, determine your blog schedule. This is so important. Um, whether you blog you know, once a month, twice a month, uh, four times a week, what, whatever the case may be, you want to be consistent here. Uh, you don't want to blog, you know, say it's tomorrow, for example, and then turn around and blog six months later. Um, you want to be consistent. Uh, the reason behind that is once you build your audience, uh, your, your customers um, are going to expect um, your content to be put out on a consistent basis and they'll look for it. Um, but if you're not consistent, they will find someone else. So highly important, find a, a consistent blog strategy um, or schedule. Tip two, identify your blog audience. So super important, blog for your customer. Um, you know, there's a lot of marketing strategies behind blogging and SEO and all that good stuff, but you want to blog for them. Find questions that they are talking about or asking um, or statements or topics that they have, uh, you know, that's that's around your industry, or your community, find those questions, those topics and blog on them and answer those questions within your blog post. This will um, separate you as a again, as an industry expert, but then it'll also create those brand ambassadors where they where they really feel you understand their pain points and then um, it will eventually connect them better with you so that you can create. Uh, generate sales. T tip three is the is the brainstorming topic ideation phase, right? So you got to be able to come up with topics consistently. And you know, there's you know, you may be well versed in your industry, and you may know a lot of questions that they're asking. You may be very engaged with your customers, but then sometimes we all have you know idea blocks. Um, so I'm going to give you some quick tools. Some are paid, some are free, where you can you know, see what the industry is relating to and how you can uh, jump on top of that train and be ahead of the curve in terms of creating great blog content. So let's jump right into it. So one tool, this is a paid tool, it's called BuzzSumo, <clears throat> excuse me. So most of our clients are in the dental industry, so I typed in dentistry. So this tool is amazing. There's a lot that you can do with BuzzSumo, but uh, we're gonna focus on uh, just the blogging strategy. So I typed in dentistry, and you'll see all these topics that come up. And if you look to the right here, you'll see all the engagement that this that these topics had. 
So you got Facebook engagement, LinkedIn, so forth. Um, obviously, with this keyword, it's one keyword. You want to be more specific. Um, but this just shows you the value um, with the content that's already out there. Create great content. Find, find a very uh, niche topic and then create content around that. And then you can also engage with some of these people. Find out who these people are and engage with them to uh, generate this kind of traction for your content. The next tool is Ahrefs or Ahrefs. Content Explorer, it's a, it's, a, it's a section in their tool that kind of, it does uh, something similar to uh, BuzzSumo, but Ahrefs has a lot of marketing um, you know, opportunities there in the, inside of the tool. But I typed in SEO for dentists, right? And it has a, some of the same metrics and uh, engagement information that you can utilize. That's also a paid tool as well. Uh, Simrush, <clears throat> I really like Simrush. Um, so they have a new tool that's actually in beta stage. It's called Topic Research. And I typed in Invisalign versus Braces, right? And if you look at all these different subtopics that came up, orthodontic treatment, Invisalign aligners, so forth. And if you click on the drop down arrow, it shows you all the questions that people are asking in your industry. So this is very, very valuable because it, it speaks directly to questions. Um, and again, that's where you want to stand out by answering those questions for your audience. The next tool is uh, the Keyword Planner. And this is a Google tool that is free for you. Um, obviously, you go to Google AdWords and you need a Gmail uh, account. And you just, once you, once you go to Google AdWords, you register and they have a tools option and you'll see Keyword Planner here. So I typed in dental insurance. And then there's a plethora of, you know, just topics. If you see all these keywords that come up over here, there's tons and tons of keywords that you could analyze and figure out what would be the best content to produce based on what your customer is asking. With the Keyword Planner, again, it's free. It does have, it shows the average monthly searches, which is very valuable. And then it also shows you the competition. So it shows you how hard it will be to rank for that keyword specifically. Um, lastly, what I do like about the Keyword Planner, it has search volume trends. So you can see when people are searching for your keywords and, and what time frame. So this could keep you ahead of schedule to produce content around that time frame when someone or when your audience is searching for um, those those questions or blog topics, and you could you could be ahead of the game there. Lastly, is Google. Like I love Google because Google has a auto suggest feature, and I typed in how much does veneers cost, right? And if you look under there, you see all these different uh, sub keywords that people are searching for um, in, in in relation to how much does veneers cost. So there's how much do, do veneers cost with insurance. Uh, does insurance cost or cover veneers, so forth. So you could take a lot of that information and create blog content around not that just not just that one question, but a lot of these other, you know, sub questions that you see in the auto suggest that Google is providing. So um, those and Google's free, of course. So those are some ways for your topic ideation. Tip four is creating a, an editorial calendar. So it's super important that you hold yourself accountable or hold your marketing team accountable, um, that they are they have a plan set up and then they're executing it. So the editorial, editorial calendar piece is pretty simple. Just get an Excel file, create your column that says, you know, your topic, have a column for dates and then have sub columns for um, the dates that you are going to execute your, your, your draft content. Um, your maybe your research, uh, also your uh, publish date, and then your you know your edit date, and then have all that together so you keep yourself aligned with when you're going to publish and just stick to it. Also recommend um, uh, creating calendar invites to yourself uh, or your or your marketing team where they're notified when those uh, those dates are due. Um, PubSpot has a pretty cool editorial calendar. Uh, template that you can use, and I'll include this link in the in the description. But it, it shows you here's a simple way that you can um, create a blog editorial calendar with Google Sheets or uh, an Excel document. Tip five: Apply SEO and um, 
create a great user experience. So SEO obviously is a, is a second strategy. First, you want to blog for your audience. That's tip two. And then tip five is apply SEO. So you want to be able to communicate with Google of what you're trying to rank for. Um, if you do this very well, uh, you'll get great results. Um, user experience. You don't want to have a, a text like 30 you know, sentences all in one block of text. You want to make sure that every other, every other you know, sentence or phrase, you have spaces between your content so that uh, your, your uh, readers can visually scroll down and, and see the connections within your paragraphs. Also headers, bullet points, you know, bold or italic text. You want to really draw their attention, videos, images, really set your content apart by, uh, you know, creating a, uh, an experience that really gives them the information they're looking for, but also keeps them there for a while. Um, so real quick, showing you this blogging example. Um, here's a blog, literally play basketball at Davidson College when I, when I graduated. Um, I just wanted to give the insights that I've learned from a great coach and Coach McKillop, learned professionally overseas and so forth around really great basketball players. And I created a blog, inspirationalbasketball.com, and literally just started blogging on that website. Um, and you can see that over time, uh, 2,000 visits from Google a month and ranking for 4,500 keywords. And literally, that was me. Uh, really uh, focusing on creating content for my audience and being consistent. As I mentioned in some of the tips there, I created a, a blog article about um, the odds of making it to the NBA. And I think that blog post right now has 80, 90 plus comments. And it's just, I did every, all the tips that I just mentioned, we, we did that, we focused on that and those were the results. So as a small business owner, if and this is not a like there's no sales right now on this. Well, there's affiliate stuff, but there's no like like hard sales. There's no like I need sales from this website. Um, but as a business owner, if you do this, you will set yourself apart um, and become an industry expert and ultimately get get sales. So finally, blog and blog some more. Be consistent. Stick with it. Um, some of these big brands that I have here, Nike, Sony, um, Pepsi, uh, they have always have news content, blog content. They're really connecting with their users online. Everyone's on, online these days. So that's where you need to be as a business. Um, I always like to throw this out here as well. Small business businesses have a high failure rate. Um, in five years, 80% of businesses fail. Um, you know, after starting, you know, it's tough. It's, you know, 20% is a, a, um, a low number, but to set yourself, to set yourself apart, blogging is a, a good starting point. Um, really connect with your customers um, and put yourself in the right position to, uh, uh, you know, get new customers from uh, building that trust with them online because that's where they're at. There's a lot of you in the sea in terms of you being a business and, and um, competing amongst uh, the masses. So set yourself apart. If you have any, any questions, um, you can email me. I'll have my email in the description. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button. And then lastly, if you need a free SEO report um, for us to look at your blogging and marketing strategy, uh, don't hesitate to reach out.